The year is 2006. In a shocking turn of events, the NFL decided to implement a new rule. Effective immediately, the team with the worst record in the league will be replaced by a new expansion team the next season. The Houston Texans, who finished the 2005 season with an awful 2-14 record, are the first victim of this new rule. Every player on the Texans roster will be suspended from the league forever, and the team will never return. This will happen every season. The NFL implemented this rule in order to prevent tanking and said they have, quote, done all their research necessary to prove that this new rule change is what the game of football needs. So what team will be replacing the Texans? The NFL ran a poll among fans to choose the next location for an NFL team. And Sarasota, Florida won in a landslide, likely because of bots and vote manipulation. Sarasota was not interested in spending tax dollars on a football team that may or may not be in the league a year from now. But the NFL wouldn't take no for an answer and kidnapped the the mayor's entire family, holding them for ransom. In an act of desperation, the city agreed and began constructing a stadium for their new team, while simultaneously falling into record numbers of debt. The NFL held another poll for the team name, and in another landslide, Seaman won. It was a fitting nickname, as Sarasota is right by the sea, and everyone respects the men who patrol it. Of course, the Houston Texans' entire roster was suspended for life from the NFL due to the new rule, now coined the Seaman Rule. Sarasota had to hold open tryouts for their new team. By the time the 2006 NFL season was about to begin, the Seamen had a full roster of scrubs, a new stadium, jerseys, and a small but passionate fan base. The road ahead is grim. However, as Sarasota has easily the worst roster in the NFL, an insane number of debt, and if they have the worst record in the NFL this season, they will be gone as fast as they came. This is the story of the Sarasota Seamen's fight to stay alive. And here we have the roster. This is easily the worst roster in the entire NFL by a lot. Our best player on the whole roster is our tight end, John Mike Peter. He's an 82 overall, and he's 26 years old, but he is slow. He has 61 speed, but he has 77 catching, which is probably the best on our roster. So he's going to be that go-to guy, that safety outlet. But it's it's kind of sad when a when a tight end with 61 speed is your best player, but that's John Mike Peter. Now, looking at our quarterbacks, our top quarterback is Torrance Stiles. Um, however, and we'll get to this in a second, I don't think I'm going to start him. He's 26 years old, he is not fast, he has bad awareness, he has 90 throw power and 80 throw accuracy, but he's a pure pocket passer, and on a team that's this bad, I feel like we need something a little better. Our offensive line is going to be awful. We need someone with some mobility. And that's where Bus Jibber comes in. Now, full disclosure, every player on this roster is randomly generated, except for Bus Jibber. Since I was a kid, every time I played Madden franchise, I would create this monster of a character. His first name is Bus for obvious reasons. He looks like a bus. Bus is his nickname, however. His real name will be revealed at a later date, so leave in the comments below what you think his first name actually is. Uh, in terms of his last name, I have no idea what I was thinking. It just sounded right, and I think it looks right. He looks like a bus jibber, you know, that it makes sense, it makes sense. Now here's the thing about bus jibber. He's 21 years old, he's a rookie, he's out of App State, and he is a complete physical specimen. He is 7 feet tall, 400 pounds, 97 speed, 99 strength, 99 acceleration, 97 throw power. He is a physical monster. The problem is, he has 60 throw accuracy, and his awareness is a 50, which gives him a lower overall than Torrance Styles. Back in his college days at App State, Bus Jibber was an offensive lineman who really, really wanted to play quarterback. That's all he wanted to play, but he was just a mediocre offensive lineman. He was huge, he was huge, but his heart just wasn't there, so he ended up going undrafted and no team wanted him. When the Sarasota Seaman held open tryouts, he said, I am only going to try out for quarterback, that is it, that is where my heart is at. And he made the team as quarterback because he has the tools, he just is completely inaccurate and lacks awareness, lacks experience at the position. But I think he's worth taking a chance on. Over at running back, we have rookie Grant Jones, starter. He's 5'8", 22, 79 speed. He's not very fast. He can't break tackles. He can't really do much, but that's what we're going to have to work with. Uh, fullback, we have Quinton Matthews. He's a 54 overall, rocking the blonde hair. 27, 61 speed, uh, 57 catch. 71 break tackle, not bad. We might be giving him a little, a few fullback dives, but... 
I wouldn't expect too much out of Quentin Matthews this season, at least. Over at receiver, we have Reggie Hayden, our top guy, a 67 overall. He's 29 years old with 83 speed, our fastest receiver, and he is 69 catch. Isaac Farr is our best catching receiver with a 70 catch, however he only has 78 speed. He's a 59 overall, so we've got Reggie Hayden, Isaac Farr, Roman Valentine, Courtney Shields, and Joe Spikes. This is what we're working with at receiver. Over at tight end, of course, we have our best player, John Mike Peter. Backing him up is Kevin Monroe. He is a 54 overall. He's 24. He's really slow. Um, he can't really catch. Same with Clarence Grandmont. Now, our offensive line is pretty bad. Our left tackle is a 75, which is not that bad. Is Xavier Gold. Uh, he's 29, so his best years are probably behind him, but, you know, he'll get the job done on the left side. Over at left guard, we have Alvin Moore starting, 68 overall. Center, we have Lamar Wall. We hope he can be a wall, but he's a 62 overall. At right guard, we have Brent Spires, who is pretty good, a 71 overall. That's not bad. He's 25 years old, probably a long-term piece for this team, assuming that we survive the season. And then at right tackle, we have rookie Gary Miles, a 51 overall. He's 21 though, so who knows, maybe he'll develop, I don't know. Left end, we have Ty Nelson, a rookie, 62 overall. At right end, we have rookie Marcus Addis, a 77. He can be a piece for this team. 21 years old, 88 strength. We're gonna hope he can be a piece on defense that helps us be close in games, put some pressure on the quarterback. At defensive tackle, we have Maurice King and Travaris Lewis, both pretty similar players. Outside linebacker, we have Kurt Price and Marquise Schultz, both looking pretty trash. Middle linebacker, we're manned by Eli Nixon, quarterback of the defense. He's a 48 overall. At cornerback, we have, well, Rick Davis, 65 overall. He is our top shutdown corner. Free safety, we have Matt Henson, a 50 overall. Strong safety, we have Charles Cottrell. Kicker, we have Greg McLean, a 41 overall. I hope he can at least make a 20 yard kick or an extra point. At punter, we have Richard Tripp, who's a 57, and that is the roster. So we simulated preseason and went 0-4. We lost our last preseason game 49-3, Jesus Christ. For our first ever home game, we're gonna rock the green on green. Welcome to Seaman Field. Let's go. Look at those palm trees out here in Sarasota. Here's the opening coin toss. We win the coin toss. Might be the only thing we win all year. Let's see if McLean can kick the ball off to the end zone. Yeah, I guess that's as far as he can do it. Tackling is not going to be our strong suit. Now in these old Madden games, I like to use the D-line. Uh, that might seem weird to people, because the newer Maddens, obviously, you want to use her the middle linebacker or the safety. Uh, but I just find it's it, it's way too hard to do that in these old games. Donovan McNabb finds a wide open man who spins out of a tackle. And we're just not fast enough. We're too slow. And that's a touchdown already. Oh, dear. What a spin move by Smith. Sprint, together with Nextel, NFL Mobile. All right, they're kicking the ball off. Let's see what we can do on offense. Not a bad return. And no holes, and we fumble. Dear Lord. Not the best start, but we have the rookie Addis at, uh, at the end spot. Maybe he can... Force a fumble. Nope. Brian Westbrook. Oh dear. The Seaman fans are not happy. Hayden takes it out. Another decent return. We have Monroe wide open. He dropped it! We've got John Mike Peter who drops it. Play action. Oh, Jibber's got the speed. That's a first down. No one's open. Oh, John Mike Peter's open. 
and he gets the first down. Peter, we couldn't throw it over the defense. And there's a bit of a hole. We probably gained one yard there. I'm gonna look for John Mike Peter in the middle. Oh, what, whoa, what was that throw? What the heck? You know, if we punt, they're just gonna score. We might as well give it a chance. Maybe we can make something happen. Oh, I think we've got it. I've got the angle. First down. We've got Hayden. Ah, oh, just overthrow him. Dump it off to the running back, and he is completely destroyed by 54. It's third down again. Jibber is 2 of 8 with 12 yards. <laughs> Shields drops it! This is frustrating. Uh-oh. They're blitzing from the outside. We, we got no... Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Nice play. That's a tackle for a loss by 95. That's our boy Nelson. It's third and 14. Can we force a stop? Let's go. We're gonna fair catch. No chances. Oh, big play! Let's go! We can throw down the field. We've got plenty of time. John Mike Peters wide open. That did not work. And nowhere to go. We've got a little bit of an angle. Oh, we've got room outside. That's a big one. Oh, that could be a touchdown. Let's go. Bus Jibber with the first ever score in Sarasota Seaman history. Look at that pancake block. What a play. And just like that, it's a one score game. The fans are loving it. What a block. He just knocked Shepard to the ground. Right, let's see if Styles can hold this, uh, Hold this ball well, and let's see if McLean can kick a old extra point. He can. He's got enough of a leg to do that, at least. At the end of the first, we're down 7-14. I'll take it. We're going to man the big defensive tackle, King. See if we can get pressure on the quarterback, get in the backfield. Oh, and we shed the tackle. Oh, that could have been a pick. It's play action. Pick it, pick it. Oh. And we break one tackle, uh, we dive prematurely, but we tackle him short of the marker. We're gonna get that ball right back. Let's try a punt block. And they just punt it right out of bounds. They're gonna give us good field position. What was that? Scrambling, you know, we can actually do. Oh, what a move. We're going to the end zone, to the running back. He drops it. Oh, we're under pressure. Got the ball away. Oh, we got Hayden. Oh, we underthrew it and that's picked off. We actually have more yards, but a lot more plays too. <laughs> Lewis. Oh, he's wide open. No, we, we, oh man, no, no. So many emotions. <laughs> oh man. Yikes. And couldn't fit it in that tight window. I don't know what I was thinking. We're gonna have to punt this ball away. Let's see if our punter trip can, can punt it more than 10 yards. This is his maximum distance right here. Oh my gosh, I might as well not use her tackle. What a tackle. Oh, Westbrook with the nice tackle break animation, but can't do anything after. Come on, interception. Almost.
John Mike Peter can't hold on. Roll outside. We're just going to chuck it up to Hayden. Who drops it? The fans are just pissed off. I don't know what you guys expected. I think Bus Jibbers played pretty well in the first half. Pretty well. His throws have been mostly on target. He's just been let down by drops. Oh, no, no, no. And <laughs> this is like, this is the worst team ever. This is a terrible, terrible team. <laughs> you saw the ratings at the beginning of the video. Okay, we got some decent blocking. We need to sign a kick returner. Jibbers got room to run. High snap, but it's okay. X. John Mike Peter makes the grab. Let's call timeout. Oh, we've got the angle. What? When you've got a big body like Bus Jibber, you already know what I'm going to do. There we go. Call timeout. But we've got the speed to outrun pretty much anybody but in the pocket. Hayden, he's kind of... It's one-on-one -on -one coverage. Anything can happen. Okay. Basically a Hail Mary, Hail Mary right here. We'll roll out. And we'll throw. <laughs> this team is pathetic. Oh my gosh. And that's just halftime. We still have a whole other half to play. Okay. This chart is embarrassing. We don't need to look at this. Let's, let's hike the ball and make that go away. Oh, we made... Dude! Are you kidding me? Let's do it. One step, two step. I mean, was his knee down? I mean, you could argue that maybe he didn't have possession and it's incomplete. You could also potentially argue that his knee was down. Knee down. Then the ball comes out. It's close. Let's see what the uh, the referees have to say. Reversed. First down, but we fumble. Pick it up. Oh, no. And we're down by 31 points. What a tackle. Lewis has been getting a lot of pressure in the pocket. No, he's been making great tackles on the running back. Getting in Donovan McNabb's face. Westbrook is just running us over, though. McNabb hits Gaffney. Putting some pressure on the quarterback could lead to a turnover, potentially. And it works! They ran the ball. John Mike Peters open, and he dropped it. Okay, we hit the running back, Jones. Finally makes a decent play. There's the offensive coordinator up in the booth. That's pretty cool. John Mike Peter gets the first down. There's Hayden. We're putting together a decent drive right here. Throwing the ball. There's John Mike Peter again. Oh, we're blitzed. We're blitzed. Peter! What a grab! Five consecutive passes. And let's give it to Matthews, the fullback. And he gets his helmet knocked off, but gets the first down. Gets the first down, and then just gets leveled. Jibber's too fast for the defense. Oh, the spin move! John Mike Peter again. I know we're I know we lost this game. 
I know we lost this game, but this drive is promising. It shows that this team can, at times, do stuff. John Mike Peter down the scene! Jibber has been on target this drive. John Mike Peter, eight catches for 60 yards. Hayden? Oh my goodness, no, 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 what am I thinking? That's gonna end it, 54 to seven. You know, I've seen worse, I've seen worse. You know, the, didn't the Titans lose to the Patriots like 63 to zero or three or something? It was, you know, there's been worse games in NFL history. You know, Kubiak's not happy, the players aren't happy, but let's go, let's go sign some free agents. Let's get some reinforcements. So Jibber had a 12.8 quarterback rating, but he did throw 169 yards. Four picks, pretty bad. 18 to 50, 36% completion three sacks, but he did have a long of 31 passing, rushing the ball. So the fullback, Quinton Matthews, had one yard on one attempt, but it was for a first down. Uh, Grant Jones, the rookie, had negative nine yards on four attempts and a fumble, but Bus Jibber had 124 yards rushing and a touchdown on only 11 attempts. Pretty good rushing performance. Receiving John Mike Peter, a team captain, he had 12 catches for 118. Grant Jones had three catches for negative one. Reggie Hayden, another decent performance. He had 42 yards and two catches. Isaac Farr had a catch and that's it. Defensively, we had one sack from Ty Nelson, the rookie. We had a big hit from the safety, no interceptions. Uh, Lewis, our man Tervaris Tav Lewis had four tackles for a loss. He made an impact. Uh, we have Ronald McKinnon, 83 middle linebacker. I think that's the guy we need on this team. He's 32. We're going to sign him to a one-year deal, but his interest in joining is pretty low. Let's just see if he accepts. He does. Okay. At halfback, I'm looking for a guy with some speed, potentially young. So here's a guy. Avion Kaysen. 94 speed. He's 27. Three-year contract until he's 30. Avion Kaysen. At receiver, the fastest receiver is Az Zahir Hakeem, 95 speed. Antonio Brown? That's not Antonio Brown. All right, so we're gonna sign Antonio Brown. Uh, Two-year deal, sure, why not? And then we're also gonna sign Az Zahir Hakeem to be our number one receiver, 95 speed. Uh, Two-year deal, 29 years old, let's go with it. Tight end, Boo Williams. He's 76, but he's got some, he's pretty fast. He could be our second tight end behind John Mike Peter, uh, cause he is lower overall, but you know, maybe he can spread the field a little bit. We'll pick him up. And then here at cornerback, 73 overall, Demario Minter. He's 22 with 92 speed. He can be our number one corner. I'm willing to sign this guy to a seven year deal. Why not? And then of course, free safety. Here's a rookie, Pat Watkins, 75 overall, 23, 89 speed, another seven year deal. And boom, just like that, our roster looks a whole lot better now. Let's run a few plays in practice with these new players, see if it makes a difference. We got Hakeem outside. Oh wow, pass rush really hit that time. Hakeem the dream. We might have a chance. Antonio Brown, he's fast. Oh yeah, we definitely have some options now. Hakeem, he's so fast. This sure was something. The Sarasota Seaman, Bus Jibber, it's all coming together. Thanks for watching.